after nine years of NDP liberals, taxes up, costs up, crimes up, time's up. And now he wants a 300% carbon tax hike all the way up to 61 cents a litre. Why not let Canadians choose a common sense conservative government that will ax the tax, build the homes, fix the budget and stop the crime now? The right honorable prime minister. Why did the opposition spend any time listening to Canadians over the summer? He would have heard that they need solutions. They need answers to the challenges they're facing. That's not what he's offering. Indeed, he doesn't care about Canadians. He just cares about himself and his own political interests. We're going to keep focused on doing the things that he refuses to do, whether it's him voting against dental care, whether it's against him voting against child care, whether it's him voting against a national school food progress uh, program. We're going to still deliver the things that matter to Canadians, like food in kids' bellies, childcare spaces, and supports for seniors to go to the dentist, many of them first time in years. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Children are hungrier than ever after nine years of the NDP Liberals. In fact, 25% of them are not getting enough food, and we now know why. A carbon tax fraud has been perpetrated by this NDP Liberal Prime Minister who kept secret Environment Canada documents that showed that the carbon tax was blowing a $25 billion hole in our economy. Our economy per capita is smaller today than it was 10 years ago, during which time the American economy has grown by 19%. Instead of a reckless plan to hike the tax to 61 cents a litre, why not allow Canadians to vote? to ax the tax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The right honorable prime minister. Here's a news flash for the conservative leader. Climate change costs money. And what would cost the most money to Canadians at all is his do nothing climate plan. News flash. When the Toronto subway gets flooded, it costs money. News flash. When fire forest fires hit communities across this country, it costs Canadians money to rebuild. When you have droughts that hit farmers and, and agriculturists across this country, it costs money. What doesn't cost money is putting money in eight out of ten of the money of, uh, of Canadians' pockets with the Canada carbon rebate to support their families and fight climate change. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister just proved my point. His tax doesn't stop floods fires or droughts. <laughs> yeah, All right. it does is create more poverty. This also from a high-flying high taxing, high carbon hypocrite who flew 92,000 kilometers in a fuel guzzling tax funded private jet while he taxes single moms and seniors for heating their homes. Now carbon tax Carney wants him to put the tax back on home heating oil. Will he reject carbon tax Carney and instead allow Canadians to choose to ax the tax? <laughs> Just want to remind all members, and to do so early, uh, to be very mindful of their language uh, that they use in referring to other members in this house. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Conservative leader doesn't believe in climate change, and that's why he has a do-nothing plan to fight climate change. It would cost Canadians money and challenge our, the future we're building for our kids. Our plan with a Canada carbon rebate puts eight more dollars in eight out of 10 Canadians' pockets right across the country, supports the middle class uh, and people working hard to join it while delivering the kinds of investments that are gonna grow our economy and reduce emissions at the same time. This is a responsible climate plan that fights climate change and supports Canadians. He wants to do nothing. He wants to hurt Canadians. That's right.